Hey everyone, today I've got my WandaVision episodes 1 and 2 Disney Plus review. Marvel's first ever series on Disney Plus puts a unique spin on the characters of Wanda and, of course, Vision. But how did the first two episodes fare? So as far as the story goes, of course I love the way the trailers were setting up this show to be a complete mystery. And who doesn't love a good mystery that you are bound to uncover? Because there are just so many different things going on that, you know, you might have to wait a bit to actually find out the answer. And boy, there were a bunch of Easter eggs that might potentially set up the rest of the series. But there is a cleverness to what they want us to really pay attention to and whether or not you are a fan of the comics you might you know see some references here and there that you're like yes I got it right off the bat. Now I didn't read any of the WandaVision comics so I don't really know you know much else besides how they were portrayed in the other Marvel movies. These episodes are actually very short but it, and it keeps me interested and wanting to see more and since this was kind of set up like you're watching a 50s sitcom and pretty much all the rest of the episodes are going to be like that but from different decades so we're starting in the 50s and they add commercials that mention names like Stark Industries and Hydra so in episode one it is very reminiscent to the Dick Van Dyke show as well as I Love Lucy and after all it is set in front of a live studio audience so it really adds to that you know authenticness to the show and then going into episode two it has this animated opening you know credit scene you know that reminded me of Bewitched and I feel like it is very fitting with Wanda's character using her special powers, uh, but it did put a smile on my face throughout. I mean, both episodes, you know, were just so creative and also reminding me a little bit of the movie Pleasantville where they sort of have it in black and white, but you know, color also collides with it. So, Will we see some of that affect Wanda in which there's this like destabilization of the world around her? Uh, that was at least one of my theories going forward. So as far as the casting goes, you've got Elizabeth Olsen who I think plays a very good Wanda and especially when she is in, you're seeing her in this strange world and she is still able to use her powers but you know, it is very believable to see her, you know, pull off, you know, the role of a 50s housewife and, you know, she's interacting with her husband or the neighbors, etc. And there's definitely something going on with her character altogether because, you know, how did she get herself stuck in a TV show? I mean, it's crazy. And she tends to zone out at times, which you're like, okay, what's going on, Wanda? Are you okay? Then reverts back to her daily routine like nothing happened or there's like a rewind feature and then replay and it's just like just so interesting to see that all, all unfold. Paul Bettany who plays Vision is just so excellent. He was one of my favorite characters when we first saw him in Captain America Civil War and I love his scenes with Wanda because I could really see that chemistry unfold and I love some of the quirks that sort of uh, you know, make him hilarious to watch, especially when, uh, you know, he could flip-flop being a human and a machine. And I love how no one seems to, you know, really care that they call him Vision and not just like a regular name. So it makes me wonder like, what are all these other people thinking? Or are they able to think at all? He was definitely cool in episode two when there's this magic show scene. I would definitely love to see some of that sort of, you know, magical element play out in the future. Then we've got another mysterious character, which I feel like a lot of people had fan theories about, and that is Car uh, Catherine Hahn, who plays Agnes. And she was also quite a treat to watch. Or as she says, a gas. She definitely brings her A game, and I'm not just referring to her name, which is Agnes. And there's definitely something 
really off about her character where she seems a little bit too curious or wanting to involve herself in people's business so I can't wait to see more of what she can do in episode three and beyond. The things that I liked about this movie was how they incorporated the 50s style and having it still sort of, you know, be relatable to the overall MCU. I mean, there are a lot of mysterious characters being shown either through a voice on a radio that people are like, uh, what is this? What's going on? And it's just a lot of that being questioned left and right. And then there's a guy in a beekeeper outfit who's like, I don't even know who this person is, but what's he doing there in this neighborhood? And at the end of episode two, you know, this whole thing that transpires might hold the key to what's, you know, all going on. And who could seriously be watching this all unfold behind the scenes? Especially that person on the radio uh, calling out to Wanda. Plus, what really got me, which was expected watching the trailers, was that Wanda is expecting. So, there's a baby on the way. And now that makes things really interesting going forward because in the next episode will be color. So, Overall, I was really impressed with this episode, or these uh, first couple of episodes, which were first released on Disney+. Plus. So, going forward, there's still a lot of stuff that I have questions about, but I really can't wait to see, you know, what is in store for Wanda and Vision and anyone else that is in this town. And so, I am just really excited to see, you know, how it's all going to turn out. I would highly recommend seeing the series. If you guys have, you should definitely check it out. And I would give this five hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of WandaVision episodes one and two. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates. Come back every week for a Chill Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys later.